a Chick-fil-A worker in Florida goes above and beyond to help stop a car jack. Cell phone video explains that the man stole the keys from the woman who was getting the baby out of the car. Chick-fil-A is calling that employee a hero. This morning, two buses from Texas unexpectedly dropped off migrants at the vice president's home in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. We're being told that Governor Greg Abbott started to protest earlier this morning. Through Operation Lone Star, Texas has already been bussed over 8,000 or more migrants since the month of April. 50 more migrants went to Massachusetts, according to the Florida governor, Mr. Ronald. We're being told that Martha's Vineyard started to find shelter, food, among others that were being transported there. Volunteers say that the migrants didn't know what they were doing, but they would be given some jobs and some housing for them to live and that's all to the latest now on the coronavirus here on this thursday according to the biden administration they released new strategies to fight against the pandemic so we're being told that anything could happen for future endeavors the white house is requesting four billion dollars to make sure people take their covid 19 test at home on a daily basis a recent study finds that at-home COVID-19 tests are not effective in the Omicron surge. The researchers found out that results did improve when people swabbed both of their noses and their throats. A famous player is about to retire. We'll explain who he is when we come back. Don't you go nowhere. Stay with me.